Welcome back my friends to another reaction video. Hope you're having a good day and if not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Blue Crime TV. <laughs> 19 year old does this after catching her boyfriend with another woman. So we're watching today. Let's go. June 29th, 2024. Police officers arrived to a scene where there were reports of an assault. According to the male subject, his ex-girlfriend who caught him cheating on her found out where he was and attacked him. Let's see what else officers are able to find out. How's it going, man? What's going on tonight? Um, I just had an ex come here. Okay. We were all inside. She walked in. She didn't knock nothing. Okay. Uh, and as you can see my nose and everything, she hit me in the face. Mm -hmm. Okay. She hit me in the face. With a fist or slap or how? I don't know. Just slap, just slap I guess. Oh, okay. She grabbed my hat. She bent it. Okay. And we told her to leave. And I guess when she left, she took my phone with her. Okay. And when she came out here, she shattered my front windshield, my well, my driver's side windshield. Uh -huh. All right. We didn't want to touch anything. So you guys see it? Yeah. Right, you go. Every, everybody inside saw her. You know what she broke it with? Huh? You know what she broke it with? Like a rock? I haven't or? touched anything. I want you guys to look at it. Okay. This is not. Yeah. This is you do something like this to somebody. Yeah, for sure, man. Like, this is not even my car. This is my grandparents who let me use it. <laughs> and secondly, like you don't go and slap someone. Yeah, for sure. She throw a drink she, on you. Yeah, too? she opened up a beer and threw it at me. Okay. She kept saying, "She's like, go oh, hit me, hit me, hit me." And I was, I'm, I would never raise my hand. I wouldn't. So I was like, oh, I get you, man. I stood sure. there and just took it, man. I get it, bro. How long have you guys uh, been apart? <laughs> well, we barely started dating a month. A month ago? A month ago, and I had broken up with her a couple of days back. Oh, no, just a couple of days ago. How did you know you were here? If this is your buddy's house? Oh, no. oh, okay, from your social just, media or what? No, it's just like the phone. Ah, okay. It's like a thing you forget. It's like the iPhone thing? Me. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Oh, and she didn't even have to go inside. She just came in. Um, did you know if she was supposed to be in town tonight? Like, did she say anything? Or you didn't hear anything? Or? Oh, she just said she was at home. I, know, I get it. I agree. Unfortunately, it happens a lot, but I agree with you. It shouldn't be happening. Yeah, I'm going to have to explain to my grandparents what happened. I'm going to have to pay for my hat and everything. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, what would you estimate the value of the window, bro? I know it's not going to be exact, but it's got to go on the report. I paid for my other truck. I had paid 150 to fix the windshield. 150 cents. <laughs> this hat was $360. 360 What brand's a hat? This is a... I can borrow your flashlight. It's a cinch. Oh, right there. Oh, okay. Cinch, rafter. Look, you guys, I'm confused. The title says Natural does this after catching her boyfriend with another woman. It says that it's her boyfriend, right? Not an ex-boyfriend. Now, did this guy just break up with her today? Because <laughs> she got caught cheating. I mean, there, um, there's males, females that be cheating on people like because they just don't care, right? So I'm just wondering if he just broke up with her right now by saying a couple of days ago. How would she know where he's at? If they're not together anymore, do they have the same friends? You 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 know what I'm saying? Like, unless he was talking to her, she called him and he's like, "I go, I'm right now, I'm my grandpa's and stuff like that." You know, and she's just like, "No, nah, I think I know where you hang around." Let me go check real quick. And uh, it's sad for the the grandparents that you know their vehicle got smashed because in case you guys they are still together, but he's just saying they're not. He was you know messing around, man. Look look look, man. If it's like that, okay, you no longer want to be with somebody, just break it off, okay? You don't need the drama. It's not fair for the person, too. You know, just because you feel sorry, like, I don't want to break up with them or her because, you know, they're going to cry or something like that. I'm just going to go mess around with another person without them knowing. Like, no. Just end it. It's better for the other person, man. And for you if, you, if you were trying to be with other people. Now, if it's not like that and the title is wrong and it's lying to us, then... She crazy. I'm just saying she crazy, man. She should let go and not be attacking people's vehicles, attacking the man because she just got herself some assault charges, um, messed up the man's hat, whatever it is, you know. And uh, yeah, and, and, and the grandparents' vehicle, man. 
Oh, now, <laughs> if he was cheated, man, that's his own fault, man. Why are you doing that stuff like that? You know, now his grandpa's windshield's broken. I mean, you know, windows broken and stuff like that. But still, either way, if you catch your dude or your girl cheating on you, man, don't just end it yourself. You know, it is not worth you going to jail because you just get angry and you want to lash out on the person. Okay, I'm just saying, trying to give tips. Either way it goes, because I don't know the title saying they're still together and he's in there or not. Like some titles like to us, but if it's he's lying, then he's a a-hole, okay? And she, she shouldn't have done that still, though. I'm just saying. She should have moved on and got a better person. Now, if she's crazy, then he, he needs to, like, uh, watch his back. I'm just saying. That's why I stopped talking to girls from Northeast, because it's happened more than once to me. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I'd, be, I'd be assigned. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that clear case? Yeah, but it was a big wrong. How much did it cost? Like the, uh, my phone cost a thousand two hundred, thousand two hundred, thousand three hundred, right? The pro, the pro, the pro. Like a thousand two hundred. I'm just mad because you don't come and do something. Like this. Oh, absolutely. And then she just walked in without asking. I get you. And then she got in my face and she was like, "Hit me, hit me!" And I was. Oh, we can't touch you. Just tell me, hey, just get her out. I was yeah, raised yeah. right, so I was like, "Guys, just get her out." Yeah. And like she hit me, she messed up my hat. I wasn't gonna do anything about it, but mm -hmm. which. It's my grandparents' car. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. I'm going to have to explain to them what happened to the car. So, so like, five minutes ago, she's posted on my, my account. Mm -hmm. Junior, where you can mm -hmm. try to get into your room? Yeah, I can get into it on his and lock it. I think it's a way yeah. to log it out of your phone, bro. <laughs> if you're able to log into your account, then you can do that. So, what else yeah. is on there? Like, your Facebook and everything? My credit cards, everything. Well, if she does <laughs> decide to use it at some point. Yeah, it's another charge. I think it'll need your face anyway, so, like, your cards and stuff to the access. Yeah. But if she does, oh, yeah. you can let us know and I'll just show that. Yeah, definitely. Different charges at that point. Mm -hmm. She decides to do so. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then she accused me of cheating. And then I had broken up with her. And then nah, this is like the second time. I think they found her. They found her? Yeah, that's why I put it in the card. See if uh, she answers the phone and see if she can bring the phone back. I think we have the PC to just do it now. Yeah. See if she might. Might answer it, and then if we can get her to bring the phone back based on because of the fact that it just happened right now, um, if she was here on scene, she would have been going to jail like immediately. So, see if maybe that's the case. If she answers, that's what I'm trying to do is trying to get her since she's young and stuff. Maybe she'll freak out and be like, Okay, I'll be right there with the phone. Tell her, Hey, like it's LCPD, you gotta bring the phone back, you're gonna get in trouble. That's that's what I was trying to she's not answering your phone, but that's what I was trying to get a hold of her so we can just tell her, Hey, we're here. If you don't bring the phone back, you can get in trouble. She was anyways, regardless, but I would like her to come back, and then we'll take her in. We can't then. tell her, like, the cops are asking for the phone. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Ask her. If there's a way to message her, I don't think you'll be able to until she, like, accepts your request. I'll try to give it a, a few more calls. This is Officer Rodriguez with Las Cruces Police Department. Ma'am, you need to bring the phone back or you're going to get in really big. and listen to me, okay? Can you hear me? Yes, who's this? This is Officer Rodriguez with Las Cruces Police Department. Okay. Okay, I need you to not hang up because this is this male's phone, right? You have his phone. Okay. You need to bring it back because you're looking at a felony case at this point because of the price of the phone. You need to bring it back. Do you understand me? Uh, that'll be on your guys' side, but you need to come back to the residence. Here, we're here at the address now. Uh, 
uh, you are looking at some charges if you don't bring the phone back. Do you understand? Well, you can do that after. As of right now, we're investigating what happened right now with the vehicle. You have his phone, obviously. Um, so that's what we're investigating as of right now. You could have called us for, for everything else. But as of right now, that's what we're investigating. That's why we're here. So you need to, you need to head back if you're going to be able to come back. If not, like you said, you are looking at some pretty big charges as of right now. Can you hear me? Wow, she said she was gonna talk to her grandmas about the window. <laughs> she knew what she was doing, man. That's wicked, you guys. If that's what I heard, she's bad, man. Like, how you gonna know that the vehicle does not belong to your boyfriend or ex boyfriend? I don't know. Uh, and still go bust the window on the grandma or grandpa's vehicle? That's just a wicked mind right there. She needs anger management, you guys. Like, you're going to take out something to somebody. I'm not saying put, like, your hands on anybody, okay? You should never do that. But if you're going to do something, don't do it at somebody else's property. It's not cool, man. Uh, Hopefully, she comes back because, I mean, that is theft if she does keep the phone, which is a charge. Returning it at least will be one off. But that assault or battery on the guy, that's that's sticking. That's really sticking. I want to hear her side if she actually says that she, he still is my boyfriend. He just cheated on me or whatever. Because then we're like, okay, so one of them's dying, right? But still, the whole fact is that she shouldn't have put her hands on the guy, man. Um, whether he did cheat or not, it's not worth it. If she didn't cheat, he didn't cheat at all, and they were already separated, she needs help, anger management help. She needs to seriously talk to somebody about these issues that she has. <laughs> and not ever, ever, ever do that again. Lessons must be learned here, you guys. Okay? If you get, you'd be mad. Go get a boxing bag or something. You get you some gloves and hit that. Don't don't hit nobody in real, you know. <laughs> Take it out on the plastic or something bad or the leather or the vinyl, whatever it is. It's made out of, okay? Um, I don't know what you... I don't know. His friends were, like, pinpointing me, like, all night. Okay, let me see if I can. 958, are you on three? Hey, I have to 521. Uh, I might, you, might come back to in a bit. I'd say yes, but uh, if you want to make a 21 real quick. We'll go back to it. Like I said, if, if you don't bring the phone back, ma'am, I don't know how else to prove it to you, but we're here now at the address. Um, we're here, and you'll see us if you pull up. I don't know how long it'll take you to, to get here. Like I said, if as far as the phone and stuff, since it is over a 1,000, uh, it is it is a felony amount at this point. Like I said, if you don't bring it back, and, he's, and if he decides not to pursue with charges with it, um, that'll be up to you. Well, we're not gonna stick here. We're not gonna stick around for you guys to argue. We just need you to bring that back the phone because you're inconvenience him, inconveniencing him as as it is with taking his phone and starting to post stuff on his social media. So, like I said, that's what we're investigating at this point. If you don't bring the phone back, um, like I said, that that'll be up to you. It'll just go to court at this point if you don't if you decide not to come back. We'll be here for another few. So. Just let me know. I have her on the line. She answered your phone. Yeah. You want to press charges for the phone? If if she brings it back, she's gonna be on her way back. It's up to you. So I want to press charges for everything, man. You want to press charges for everything? How about when she walked in? And she walked what in too about that. If she had no. broken the door, so it, that's trespassing at this point, since the door were like was yeah, unlocked. Cause she, yeah, because it was unlocked and everything. Everything was closed, and she just walked in straight. Baby. Yeah. So if she would have like broken the door or something, that'd be like a felony breaking and entering. Or if she would have. Um, 
So guys, right now it's just trespassing. It's just trespassing because okay. like the door was unlocked. No, yeah, you because, got it. I just to yeah, ask, the, the, like the breaking and entering has to be like she has to like it's in the words she has to break to enter yeah. the property, or that's a felony, or also like burglary, which would be you get into a vehicle or into a home to commit yeah. a theft or a felony. So that that'll be a felony. Yeah, yeah, so. I just wanted to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, since the door wasn't locked, it's just gonna, who's is this house? It's my friends. You want to call outside? Uh, yeah, give us a second. But I just wanted to ask real quick. Give me a second. Okay. The female suspect eventually arrives back to the scene to return the male subject's cell phone. Can you give us the phone? Can you step up first, please? Okay, let's give her two thumbs up for coming back, you guys. You know, I mean, I don't know if they're still gonna try to. Try, well, I mean, she returned it. So would they still charge her with theft? Like, here you go. I'm sorry for that. They probably will. Um, just because you took something in return doesn't mean you did, didn't take it in the first place, right? So at least she, in her mind, she was trying to do something good after the bat, you guys. Now, I, I got to say something. Do you, got, do you think the guy's hat is nice? Would you wear it? I don't know. I don't think I would. But then the other people like different stuff, right? But I don't know. I want to know. Would you wear his hat, okay? <laughs> or pay as much as you said it's worth? Uh, she about to go with you guys. Maybe they'll bring her her Miranda rights and we can find out the uh, the other side of her. I would like to know if it's actually a real. I just like to know you guys, you know, if he was her boyfriend at that time and he just dying because he got caught. Like I said, if you don't want to be in a relationship no more with somebody, man, just break it. Okay, break it up. Do yourself a favor. Do the other person's a favor. Let each other meet the one that's supposed to be with you for the rest of your life, you know? Don't be dragging somebody along just because you feel sorry. No. Okay. Just come over here. You can face the vehicle. Okay. Face the vehicle. And put your hands behind your back. You're being placed on the rest of What's going on tonight? Okay. I just found out he was cheating. Okay. How many guys gonna go? Uh, like three weeks, four weeks. Okay. Um, and some guy texted me. One of his friends texted me that he was cheating, and I came. I saw them and I got mad. Okay. Um, How'd you know it was here? Um, I had his location. He had sent it to me. Mm, I got you. And then what happened when you got here? Mm, well, I saw them and well, I was mad and I just stared at him for a little and then I slapped him. Mm, okay. Did you go inside or he came outside or? I went inside. Okay. Do you know any of these people here or just him? Him and his friend. And his buddy. Okay. So what happened inside? You slapped him and then... And we just argued and he was going to put his hands on me, but his friend stopped him from doing it. Okay. And I went outside and I just left and I got mad and I... Okay. What happened with the phone? How did you end up with the phone? I had taken it away because he has pictures that I don't need him to have. Okay. I got you. What happened with the car? The I, driveway? I got mad and I... So, so, pictures was the reason for the phone, and then you were mad about the car. How many times did you hit him? Just once. Just once. Yes. Did it cause him to bleed? No, you know? Yeah. Based on everything we have here tonight, since you guys are technically household members in New Mexico, that's what the state qualifies it as, since you were in a relationship at one point, you're going to be charged with battery against a household member, criminal damage to property of a household member times two for his hat and the vehicle, and you're going to be charged with deprivation of property of a household member because you took his phone, okay? So, those are four misdemeanor charges, none of them are felony level right now. Do you have any questions for me right now? He's pressing charges. The state presses charges in domestic violence, so even if he didn't want to or did want to, it wouldn't be up to him, it'd be up to the state. And it's a mandatory thing with New Mexico, so it's not something he has to say, and it's it's our choice. And we don't have a choice. It's, it has to happen when we have the evidence to, to support it. Do you have any questions right now? Look, you guys, when they reach the Miranda rights, you don't have to answer. You, you say, staying silent is always 
good for you, okay? I just wanted to know, okay? The reason I want to know is because some people would just lie, okay? Uh, he was saying he hadn't been with her. Like, everything she said it was honest. She even said to the bed, like, yeah, I went in the house. Everything that they said, she did. But they didn't say that he was still with her. They didn't say that her friend, well, I guess they would know, sent her a message saying he was cheating on her. He She knew his location because he sent it to her. Like, <laughs> look, man, I'm just saying, sometimes you don't know who you're with. Uh, still, I, I don't. I don't suggest she should have done what she did, right? She should have just said, you know what? All right, you don't want to be with no more. I'm going to leave. Some guys, even females, brainwash people, okay? Make them feel like, oh, you're the only one, this and that. Or, you know, I don't be with, want to be with nobody else. I was wondering why she kind of took her phone. And she says because there's pictures of maybe, you know, like pictures. She don't want no other buddy else to see that he has a he she took with him or he wanted to take or something, you know? It's understandable. She probably took it to erase them or whatever, make sure they were on the phone. But uh, yeah, the guy's just a little player. <laughs> the bad thing about it is the victim of him. I'm saying him, if because she's saying he was with her, she was cheating. He was cheating on her. Is the one that let the anger get to her and and smacked them around. All right. Uh, I mean, in a way, the other friend that texted her the message saying, "Hey, he's cheating on you. It's a good friend." You nobody, no friend wants to see their friend being cheated on, right? It just, it shouldn't, uh, handled it herself. You should have just walked away and be like, this guy ain't worth for it. Um, now the guy say he supposedly didn't want to touch her or wasn't going to put her hands on her or whatever. And she was like, hit me or whatever. <laughs> and she just admitted saying that, uh, he was about to hit her, but her friend, his friend supposedly held him back. Uh, so yeah, that guy, not a good person to, from what I can see, maybe I'm wrong. He's not a good person to, like, you know, think he's saying the truth or, or at least be around with her or whatever. But, hey, it's sad to see that, you know, this happened. She should have held her back, held back, like I said. But uh, I just wanted to know, you guys. But you should stay quiet when they read your Miranda, White's, Miranda writes. But I guess he was just too honest that she just said what really happened. Anyways, what's your thoughts? <laughs> The female suspect was charged with criminal damage to property, battery, and deprivation of property of a household member. Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching Blue Crime TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Yeah, but um, I like I said, I, I like to hear both sides, you guys. Uh, and well, we heard it. So what's your thoughts, man? Did you do you believe her or do you believe the guy? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button because it really helps this video and channel out. And I would really appreciate it. You want to watch another video? You can watch this one right here or this playlist. And I will see you next time. Bye.